Good morning, guten Morgen, Magendanumaga, konnichiwa, bonjour. So moments ago, I had just went outside and I picked this raspberry that is growing in my yard, my yard. <laughs> and um, I'm going to use it for um, for an example of what it was like for me in my own testimony when I came um, into, oh, I don't even know how to explain it, when I was plucked out of the world, I felt like this berry. <laughs> so here's the backstory. Back in December 2018, I had this urgency. The Lord placed it in my heart to seek truth, to seek Him. And so I went on YouTube and I started diving into listening to different testimonies and seeking out alternative um, opinions of different things that were not the world's narrative. Like I was, I was seeking it into things like NASA and people who were saying that NASA, basically conspiracy stuff. And I was watching videos and maybe I wasn't necessarily um, believing everything that I was coming across, but it was like aha moments of, you know, things aren't necessarily what we've been told. So at some point I decided to give my life to Christ and I became born again and a lot of spiritual things were happening to me at that time. Um, I was being deceived by false lying spirits at the beginning of my walk and the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because it's part of my testimony. I was being influenced by man by buying too many lies. Like I was listening to other people's testimonies and I was believing some of the things that man, that other people that I didn't even know were saying because I've never been in Christian circles. Um, I... Uh, had no context. I had no idea what I was doing, but I knew that I wanted to know the truth. So I was reminded because we just had, we just passed the date July 17th. And part of my testimony is I was one of those individuals who fell for the whole rapture um, concept the way others view it as they're going to disappear um, people are stating that they're going to use a false alien invasion to explain it away and th these are different theories and different things that people are actually buying and I bought into it because I thought that there were those who were calling themselves Christians, followers of Christ. They said they were born again in Christ and they had such a conviction. And I bought into a lot of the lies. And when 717 in 2019 came and went, I had realized that I was, that I had fallen for a false lying spirit because I believed that I was going to be raptured on July 17th. 
And when it didn't happen, I was devastated. I was truly devastated. I wasn't one of those people who um, was putting a whole show on YouTube. This was my life. I had convinced my teenage daughter, she was 16 at the time, that we were going to be raptured. And when it didn't happen, not only did that, not only was it really painful and devastating to me, but I dragged my daughter into it as well. And it, I was disappointed in myself. I wasn't upset um, with the Lord that nothing happened. I was so devastated. I was so upset. And I also was scared that because I said something was going to happen and I was speaking in the name of the Lord, I was so frightened about um, the consequences of what I had done and I had repented and it was super easy for me I didn't have an ego that was standing in the way I was so humbled and I was so again I was so devastated um, I was confused I also I, it's not that I didn't believe that the Lord God, Jesus Christ, didn't exist. I mean, I knew that he existed and I knew that he was the truth. My problem was, is I had followed man. But at the beginning of me being plucked out of the world, I'm using this berry. <laughs> as an example, because this is what I thought of the other day, that when I was of the world, this raspberry right here, I was on the same thorny bush as everyone else. I was of the world. I, for the most part, believed the world's narrative, even though I didn't dive into. I wasn't political and I didn't really care whether some things were true or not. Um, I just didn't care one way or the other. So, um, so if they said we went to the moon, I'm like, okay, so we went to the moon, but I didn't really care. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I, I didn't think oh, they must be lying or whatever. But in any event, um, I was of the world. I was a liar. I was an adulterous woman. I was an alcoholic. I was a lot of things. I was a lost person. I was very lost and I got to a point where I just didn't care what happened to me. You know, the things that I tried to do in this life and failed, I just got to a point where I just didn't care anymore. And that's very important too. That's part of my testimony. That when the Lord plucked me out of the world, um, I, I realized that the spiritual aspect was very real because I was under spiritual attack in a major way, especially at nighttime around two or three in the morning. I, there was demonic activity that was happening to me, which it was frightening. It is nothing that I would ever want to repeat. It was frightening enough where, you know, there's scriptures that say that, um, that, uh, oh gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm, 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 I have a blank here. There are scriptures that say that, I mean, if you're, if you go back to your vomit, if, 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 once you've come away from 
um, sin or something. And if you go back to it, that the demonic activity um, will come back like threefold or, or more. I know I'm paraphrasing and I'm really sorry that I'm drawing a blank right now, but I, I recalled the scripture that had stated that, you know, if you go back, um, once you've been given his Holy Spirit and if you, um, I don't know, become warm again, that, that the spiritual, um, attacks will be worse. And from what I, what I experienced at the beginning of my walk was frightening enough to me that I know 100% that I'm like, I am not going to touch this. I am not going to do this because I had a healthy fear that I didn't want to experience what I had experienced again or even worse. So anyhow, um, like this berry, weeks and months after I became born again and realized that this world wasn't what I thought it was, I felt like this berry. That I felt like um, when I was of the world, I was on the bush. But imagine taking this berry and taking it off the bush and putting it on the ground where it's exposed to all the elements and exposed to um, being squashed or eaten by a bird, um, basically unprotected. I felt exposed. I felt naked. I felt, um, because I didn't have a relationship with Christ yet and I didn't have any knowledge of scriptures yet, I felt terrified. I felt like um, everyone or no one around me could understand what I was going through. Um, and, and the people around me, um, I, I realized that I didn't know anyone, even my own family members. I didn't know anyone. Everyone was strangers to me. When I was plucked from the, the bush, basically from the world and, 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 and away from it, where I was on the outside looking in and I was like, I have no idea where I am, who these people are around me. And I knew that my whole world had changed and I was absolutely terrified. And I'm going to continue this video. I'm going to continue a part two um, um, because I noticed that the time says over 13 minutes. And I apologize that I'm not very good at speaking. I'm not a professional speaker. I'm doing this um, on... I'm not, I haven't practiced it, <laughs> basically, uh, unrehearsed, that's the word I'm looking for. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time coming up with, you know, what I want to say or whatever, but my apologies, I'm going to make a part two. I love you and God bless.